Hey guys, this is Saurabh Nahar here from All Watt Technologies and you're watching the camera review of Samsung Galaxy J7. So, let's begin. So guys, so guys here, here is the camera, camera interface, interface of Samsung, Samsung Galaxy J7. We have three we effects have three over here, which includes Grayscale, includes Grayscale Sepia, or sepia whatever you call it and you also have negative so you can choose any of the effect you want now you also have settings like timer setting so you can select timer setting if you want to click a group picture or something like that you also have flash settings you can keep it on auto if you don't want to mess it every time now you can take pictures in 13 megapixel and if you want 16 is to 9 aspect ratio you can choose 9.6 megapixel which is the highest you can take videos in full hd hd or vga now you also have something called review pictures you can turn it on so it will show you before you take another picture you also have quick launch and you can save your pictures in device or memory card you can select it between them and you can also use volume key to take pictures now quick launch works like this you can double tap or double press the home button now here are the few modes you can also choose pro mode if you are aware of white balance settings iso and exposure settings so you can mess with it and take some amazing pictures you have panorama mode continuous shot beauty face sound in shot sports and also hdr mode is available over here on the samsung galaxy j7 now you can switch between the front and the rear camera from here and this is the shutter button and you can see that the shutter speed is quite fast on this device it takes pictures instantly and here is the button to turn on the video mode now same goes with the front facing camera as well you have all the same sort of settings with the front facing camera the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel camera and you have all the same effects and timer settings and stuff you also have something called beauty mode so you can adjust it accordingly it will soften your skin to make you look better now modes available here are white selfie which works something like panorama it can be used while taking a group fee so it works perfectly and apart from this you also have few other modes for the front facing camera you can use them if you want which is interval shot and sound shot so that was the camera interface of Samsung Galaxy J7. Now let's take a look at the pictures. So you can see that the pictures look quite sharp and detailed and I had no issues with it. The colors look quite accurate compared to the natural conditions. And even the pictures are quite sharp even if you try to zoom in a lot. And the dynamic range is also quite good. Exposure levels are well in control. You can see the dynamic range here when I compare both the normal shot and HDR shot and even the pictures that were taken outdoors look quite good the pictures that were taken in dark night or in no lighting condition also looks quite good now here is the video sample that you can take a look so there is no optical image stabilization but the video quality itself is quite good and even autofocus works fine with this device it takes a bit while but it works fine not like other cameras who take a lot of while to focus on subject we have to tap to focus but in this case it works fine so autofocus works fine with videos and videos look quite sharp as you can see already so as that was the rear facing camera which was 13 megapixel camera on the samsung galaxy j7 which does a decent job of capturing pictures and videos now talking about the front facing camera the flash with the front facing camera remains on if you turn on the flash it won't blink when you take pictures so do keep a note of that but although the pictures look quite decent and quite good if you take it outdoors and if you turn on the beauty mode you can see my picture it looks quite good it gives that softness effect on your face and the pictures look quite good I would say selfie rather not pictures 
and even the pictures that were taken indoors were quite decent with the front facing camera hey guys this is saurabh nahar here and i am using this front facing camera of the samsung galaxy j7 so you can see how good the video quality is this device can shoot 1080p videos from the front facing camera so it looks quite good so that was just a footage with the front facing camera so guys that was the quick camera review of Samsung Galaxy J7 hope you guys liked it if you did make sure you hit that like button down below because it helps us a lot also post your comments and queries in the comment section we try to answer most of them hit that subscribe button if you want to see the full review of Samsung Galaxy J7 and also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content on this channel because we will be coming up with a lot of reviews on other devices as well so make sure you subscribe to our channel you can follow us on facebook twitter google plus instagram snapchat all the links will be in the description down below so you can follow us over there and you can ask us questions over there and this is saurabh nahar here from all about technologies thank you guys for watching